Hey guys, what is up? This is Apple Fox channel here and today I decided to continue my series where I talk about the best and most useful apps for the Apple Watch. This time we're going to be taking a look at the utility apps that you can download for your wrist device. By this I mean some apps that have a real purpose and can help you in your everyday life. So let's simply get started with the video right now. So the very first app I want to talk about or I want to show you in this video is the one called Hours. This app is of course free to download, but you can also upgrade to a pro version, but I'm not sure if this is the thing you want to do. So what this application basically does is that it tracks your time. Because this is something we need to do, but we often forget to do. It's gonna help you to schedule out your time a lot more effectively. And of course, it's a lot easier to do on your iPhone, but you need to have something like a preview on your wrist. And this is where the Apple Watch comes in. And here are the screenshots of the app running on your Apple Watch. So it looks something like this. I'm going to show it to you later on my real Apple Watch. But for now, I'm just going to tell you that it has been reviewed by many of the great websites that talk about technology. So it apparently should be a very good app. So I definitely recommend you to download it. And since it is a free app, there is nothing what you could think about. Now, if I open up the app on the Apple Watch, it just tells me that the syncing process is going on here and the data and the timers are being transferred from my iPhone. So let's first open it up on the iPhone. I would of course recommend you to allow the notifications because it's gonna let you know when you're doing something you're not supposed to do or something like that. So it is a very handy feature. So here we are inside of the application after a quick process of signing up, which is actually very easy to do. All you need is like email address or your name and of course your password. And here we are. And on the Apple Watch, it should be all working. But I'm not having any kind of timers or something like that, so there's nothing what I could show you on the actual Apple Watch. So the next application is one called CalcBot. It is basically a calculator. I mean, I don't want you to use this calculator over the one you have on your iPhone as, a, as the stock one. All we want to do is just to get the calculator on the Apple Watch. And to do that, we need to download this app on the iPhone. So here is the Apple Watch and let's take a look at the calculator we've just downloaded. Okay, so here we are and we have a couple of options to pick from. So first of all is the Calculate, Convert and Tip Calc. Click on Calculate. So here we have the number. So let's type something in. I mean, it doesn't really matter. And now if I press firmly, I have the Operations tab right here. So let's multiply it by, I don't really know, it doesn't really matter, by 5 for example. And... It should tell me the result right away and the number 27,000 is the result. So it should work really well. I mean, it is not something like, um, you know, it's a calculator on watch. What could you expect? But it works pretty fine, to be honest. Now, the next option we have right here is the convert. So let's open it up really quickly here. And now if I press firmly, let's see what's going to happen. And we have the options to convert between currencies and also some other options we have. So let's let's take a look at the temperature for sure. And now if I just type in the Fahrenheit numbers, for example, 25, it tells me, or 55, it tells me how many degrees Celsius it is. So it is a very handy feature. And keep in mind that you're doing it on your watch. So you don't even have to take your phone out of the pocket in order to convert something like this. And finally, the last option is one called TipCock. Now you probably know what it is. It basically calculates the tip you are supposed to give in a restaurant. And you just basically type in how much you're going to pay and it's going to calculate the amount of tip you are supposed to give. So the next application is called Cheat Sheet Widget. Maybe it sounds a little bit silly to you and that is because the title says cheat and that may invoke that something bad is going on here, but it is really not. It's a great app and it's gonna help you. This app is dedicated to people who don't remember some little things that are very important and you should remember them. And this app is going to help you in order to have it always in front of your eyes as a widget, of course. Well, let's say you want to do 12 push-ups a day, but just simply forget about it and you forget it, you're supposed to do it. So this is the time when you open up your cheat sheet app and you basically add the cheat right here. So you click on a plus icon right here and simply type in what you want to remember. So let's say, as we already said, the 12 push-ups. And at the top, you're gonna select an icon that is supposed to remind you or be some kind of relative with the term you wanna remember. So let's take a look right here and let's see what goes with the push-ups right here. And here is the gym icon or something like that. It's called dumbbell actually. It doesn't really have to do anything with the push-ups, but it is supposed to give you the information about what's going on in the term. And when you take a look at your Apple Watch, you're gonna see it right here. So 12 push-ups, this is the thing you are supposed to remember or you are supposed to do. It doesn't really matter. You just have to see this term and always have it in front of your eyes. 
and that is the whole point of this application. But the problem is that you don't always go inside the application in order to see what's going on. You just need to have it always in front of you. You can also add it as a widget on your lock screen on your Apple Watch. Another great example of a very useful application on your Apple Watch is this one called Decibel Meter. It is supposed to tell you how loud the noises around you actually are. But in order to do that, you're gonna have to need your iPhone to be around you all the time because you're not gonna be able to use it without it. Because the app uses the microphone from the iPhone, so there is no point to use it without the iPhone. But it works well. You can, for example, place your phone on the other side of the room and simply take a look at your Apple Watch and see how loud the environment actually is. And the last application I wanted to cover in this video is called iTranslate. And the title says all about this application. It is a very great app that lets you translate any sentence to pretty much any language around the world. But the fact that it also works on the Apple Watch is simply great. So here is this application right on your wrist. So if you 3D touch on the screen, you have the option to change the language. So you can choose from pretty much any language. So let's go for the Dutch right here. I accidentally clicked on the Denmark, but it doesn't really matter because I just want to show you or I just want to demonstrate how this application works. So you tap on the language or tap on the flag of the state or of the country and you have the option to scribble or to dictate the text you want to translate. So it has been translated now and this is how it looks like in Danish language. You also have the option to actually speak the sentence to you, but it works nice in my opinion. You can pretty much translate any kind of sentence you really want to any language you want. So this is the reason why I recommend you to download this app. And another reason why you should download this app is because most people love traveling. And when you travel somewhere abroad, you need another language or you need to speak another language. So guys, that's it. We have arrived to the end of this video. Please leave a comment down below about which app you are going to be using or which is your favorite. Maybe which one is the first that you're going to download. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you want to see more videos like this, definitely click the subscribe button because you'll be informed when a new video comes up and you will never miss one. So have a nice day and see you in the next one. Peace.